Hello, hello everyone. Happy Monday. <laughs> When you pop on, say hello so I know you're out there. Hi, Janice. Welcome. We're going to do your hat very first thing. Thank you so much for being here. All right. Let me get this pulled up on the iPad. At least I hope I can find it. Hi, Joni. Welcome. Oh, how hot is it down there, Joni? It's over a hundred here. And I'm it's warm in my room. <coughs> I hope you've had a great day, Janice and Joni. Oh, only 105? I think that's about where we were. Okay, so let me get my website pinned. Thank you so much, Janice. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Now it let me pin it. So hello, 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 everyone. Hi, Margie. I hope you had a wonderful Monday. It was crazy at the office. I'm so happy to be home and in my own controlled atmosphere. Um, my boss is uh, perhaps giving birth in a couple weeks, so she's a little frantic. It's her first one and she's so it's been a little crazy at the office, along with all the other crazy stuff. So I'm very, very happy to be here. 85 there. Oh, that's nice. That's like perfect. And in the shade, it's cool. It was not even cool in the shade here. It was just, ugh. but I know it's temporary. It was beautiful, cool morning. So I'm, I trust it's going to be real nice in the morning as well and later tonight. Not enough to open the windows for sleeping, but it was nice. Hi, Marilyn. Hey, Shelly. Welcome. So I was going to show everyone, if you may have watched, these are my bookmarks that I made with a marbled paper. They're still not done yet. These are just, I don't even know if I'll waste tassels on them because they're not um, anything that I can do use for anything other than myself but this is the one that turned out best I have not yet domed this as I was talking about but I intend to try <clears throat> oh good Marilyn I made sure my volume was up after my live whenever it was last Thursday I guess I noticed that my volume buttons don't work on my phone I have to go to the little screen where the flashlight is and put it up there. So maybe part of that was my fault. Good, good evening, Gloria. Welcome. But this is the little one. This is no glitter, but it has um, paper on both sides. And then the, the larger ones had paper and glitter. So I have... Um, they, none of them turned out perfectly. This one has a big, I don't know if I can get it. There's a big like C-like opening right there with some really sharp edges. I can take a, <clears throat> a nail file and file that right off so it's not um, sharp, but it's still not very attractive. But again, this was my first attempt. <clears throat> And I will need to order more um, molds if I try this again. So, But it was fun. I will try it again. So I have two things I want to dome. That's the edges raise on the molds and you fill in that raised area with uh, epoxy. And it finishes it nicely, they say. So we shall see if I can accomplish that. But now we're going to get on to... Um, 
we're gonna get on to marbling. I have a couple fun things. I have two hats. I have some ribbon um, I'm gonna do. And I think that's about all for tonight. I have one other hat that just, it just came in today. So it's in um, prepping right now. So first up there's, um, if you have not yet heard of the uh, crafty, Crafting Coach's Corner, I believe is what it's called. It has many of my friends are in that, uh, actually the people that started that group. And so I had donated, they have the bingo night. And so I donated um, a marbled hat for a prize. And so the winner in here is Janice and she is gonna help me do her hat tonight. So she won, she won a marbled hat. Here it is, plain white. And then we're gonna get that done this evening. And I know, Janice, you said you wanted blues, so let me pick out my blues and so you can select which ones you wanted. So did anyone do anything fun today? As you know, I just worked. Nothing exciting. Almost empty. Hi, Joyce. Welcome. <laughs> I'm excited for you, Janice. All right, I have all kinds of blues here. Some of my blues are empty. I do need to get them refilled before my show this weekend. I think that's all the blues in this. Yep, I lied, here's one more. And then I have a periwinkle. So this is my periwinkle. And it is more, it has a lot of purple in it. And this is my indigo, and that has a lot of purple in it. So, um, I probably, unless you like the blues that are more purpley, I probably will not use these two. I like them both. They look really good together. But um, as far as blues go, true blues, I have bright blue, light blue, um, all the blues. You can't tell by that one. There's a light blue. Hi, Patricia. How are you today? And if you guys don't mind... Uh, sprinkling out this video, I would appreciate that greatly. I am, hi Colleen, I am trying to um, grow my page, get more eyes on what I do, and so if you wouldn't mind sprinkling, I would greatly appreciate that. And um, if you so are, are inclined to do so, you can leave stars. That's kind of a, a tip for what I do. I use the funds, any funds I get from stars to send out um, prizes and surprise, like much like the hat tonight. When I mail that out, I would use the money from stars. So thank you, Shelly. I'm glad you're here, Colleen. So <clears throat> we have blues, blues, and more blues. I have a primary cyan. A phalo blue. This is kind of a darker blue. I have Prussian blue hue. I'm dropping them. This is a darker blue. I have surreal. Surreal. I can't say this one. It starts with a C and it's blue. And then I don't know what this one is. This is a mix of something, and that was before I wrote on the bottles. And then this one is ultramarine blue. So I've got ton. Hi, Diana. <clears throat> I'm glad you're here, Colleen. I've got lots of blues. And we need white. Here's the white. Not that one. Saw another blue, but it's not. It is not um, the same brand. So I think 
If you're letting me choose, I want you to say yay or nay. I want to use, I think these four, are primary cyan, the Prussian blue, which is a darker one, and then the mystery light blue. It's actually, if you can see the color that's up on the tip right there, that's the color. Do you want any gray or another color in there or just blues, Janice? Obviously, there will be white in there. And I do, um, if we get the, the blues in there and you decide you want another color, we can certainly add it at any time. So I'm going to give her a minute. I know it's delayed, about 15 seconds, so I'll give her a, a minute to see if she wants gray or not. And I have a medium gray and a light gray, so you could choose either one, whatever I think. Okay, let's just go with it and see how it looks when we get the colors down. Okay, so, you know, I cannot operate without this, and I guess I better turn you down so you can see what I'm doing. Let's see if I can get this to turn. Now, again, my phone shows me things that my tablet does not. So, um, if I miss your comment, I apologize. All right. So, here we go. Let me shake this white a little bit. Actually, I better shake all of these. The mixed ones are always important to shake because <coughs> some of the colors want to separate after they're mixed. All right, here we go. I didn't have one this past weekend. I was off this past weekend and it was wonderful. I got, um, I did some, made some swag for crafters convention and I'm sending, um, some door prizes. So I got all of those things completed. I uh, haven't packaged up the door prizes, but the swag did go out today. It's a huge relief. <clears throat> and the Crafty Coaches Corner, they're having an event in September. Um, it's called Out of the Box event. And um, I'm doing swag and um, what did I just say? Door prizes for that as well. So I still am trying to decide exactly what I want to do for swag. I have a couple ideas, but I have not settled on one yet. I do know what I'm doing for the door prize. Okay, that'll be good. I think we'll put enough color in here. Let's scoot those guys over. So let's use the darkest one. Look at that one. All right. I'm going to do a little coaxing. I don't like it when it won't spread, so hold on. Let's see, where's my little hoops? We'll give it a little coaxing. I do have a show this coming weekend. It's going to be a two-day show. And um, so that should be fun. It's a, a lavender festival. And we are right next to the lavender fields. 
and it's just such a beautiful setting. My husband is not thrilled that it's on um, the 4th of July weekend, but they really have to do it when the lavender is ready to, you know, be harvested. So in that respect, they're at the mercy of the lavender. Okay, let's see how we do here. Let me shake this up. It did spread a little bit better. I'm just gonna add a drop or two now to see how we do. See if I've improved it at all. Well, it doesn't appear so. That's just weird. All right, we'll just leave that as it is. Look how pretty that is. That is the primary cyan blue. Cayenne, cyan. Now let's do some of this blue. Woo, now this one really comes out quickly and look at it push. Let's put a little bit of this one in as well, the ultramarine. Okay, what do you think, Janice? Do I need to try more of the, the dark blue? Or is there the, the any of the other ones you want more of? I'm gonna just try just a couple more drops of this. It's still not spreading out at all. Okay, we'll just move this around and go for it. Ugh, I've waited all day to do this. <laughs> I'm happy you're so excited about it. I do work full time, Debbie. All right, how is, how does that look, Janice? Okay, well, you, well, I'm waiting for your comment to pop up. You love it? Okay, I'm going to run it and get a plastic bag. I forgot. They're in the other room here. When I'm working at home, I reuse my plastic bags. I just rinse it out and reuse it. So I'm not being wasteful at all. Let me get the rinse bucket over here. All right, so what I'm gonna try to do is get the, this little swirl right here on the brim, or would you rather have the swirl that's closer to me on the brim? Because there's one there and one here. Okay. 
Oh, my nose is all getting twitchy. I have such bad allergies. <laughs> oh, Janice. All right, I'm going to do it this way. <laughs> Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Just about dropped that in there. Oh, I think I'm going to do it this way after all. All right, here we go. Now this, this real dark is very concentrated, so it looks like it's running a little bit, but it'll rinse off. So that ultramarine looks like it has a little bit of purpley color in it as well. All right, get a towel. Thank you. What do you think, Janice? <laughs> hey, Stony Stone. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, let me go get the board so I can show you what it looks like. Oh, here, I have the broken lid. This will work. So there it is, rinsed. And I did get the swirl up here. And I got a lot of that in there, which I wanted. I really liked that as well. So that's fun. I like the way it turned out. So let me get it in the bag. Oh, you're welcome, Janice. You're very welcome. So it's gonna, it probably won't ship maybe until uh, next Monday. I wanna make sure it's completely dry and um, then I can ship it out. So there's number one. Oh, that was fun. I'm so happy you like it, Janice. It was fun for me to make. Oh, thank you. Okay, great. Thank you very much. I, I suppose I could set it outside and it might dry quicker, but um, I'm not home all day, so I wouldn't want to do that. Thank you, Stony. Okay, so let me put this aside. Let's get this mess cleaned up. And then... The next hat that I'm going to do is mine. Now, I did a hat like this a couple weeks ago, and I'll show you what it looks like and remind you. And um, before, that was before I went to um, the graduation in California. And I saw my friend, my favorite son's mom, had... Um, a hat on and I thought of that hat and thought why didn't I make one of those for me and because um, it would have protected my ears I got one ear that got just a little bit of sunburn on top of it I love wearing ball caps but they do leave my ears exposed so I'll show you and then I have I just got so I'm gonna try a bucket hat I always think of uh, Gilligan's Island when I think of bucket hats. If any of you are old enough to remember that. I used to watch that when I got home from school after my homework was done. <sighs> so I, it's not ready for tonight yet, but it is getting prepped. And we'll see. They're a little bit more expensive than the ball caps. 
but um, I thought it'd be worth a try. I'll see if any there's any interest in it this weekend. Okay, I'm going to do one more time, and I'm going to wipe the edges. So, Janice, you'll need to message me your address. And then I will, um, once it ships, I will give you the tracking number. All right. Just making sure that none of Janice's hat gets on my hat. Even though some of the colors are going to be similar. All right. Trying to get the bubbles out with this one. Thank you. All right, let me dry my hands. Now I've got to pick my colors. Just a sec. I need to go look in the mirror for a second. I always do, um, I don't know where to go. I always do my hats in um, the same color that I started with for all of my things that I might wear at a show or otherwise. Actually, I might vary off that a little bit today. I think I'm just gonna go with the white and the teals. I think I'm gonna leave the blue and red out this time. I had a skirt on that was um, white with little teal things, just little, designs on it and uh, this would would have gone perfect with that for graduation so I think I'll just go with because my colors that I have are kind of teal and white and black what I don't want black on there it has a black band oh let me show you the hat first So this is the hat I'm going to do. I took off the hat band. It has a black hat band. I bought two of these. I'm going to prep another one to take to my show this weekend because it's so stinking fun to make. And this one will um, protect my ears. So I'm going to have to set it back in the other room until I'm ready. All right. So now we can begin. Just dripping it on one drip at a time. I want to make sure there's plenty of paint in here. Because that's a, a little bit different color. Hi, Patricia, welcome. It's a little bit different color and than what I usually use, so I want to make sure the colors are come out nice and vibrant. All right, we'll say that's good. And then as normal, I will use a darker color first. To me, the lighter color should go on the top. Did you see that bubble pop and all these little bitty bits of color came in here? It's 
so pretty. do just a couple more drops okay that's better all right so here we go I have some of the great big floppy summer hats upstairs, but I don't know, it's gonna take, they're not super deep, just the crown, but it's gonna take um, something larger than this to marble them. They would be perfect, however, for tying a scarf around. I keep saying, all right, and then I want to swirl some more. All right. Let me get the rinse bucket over here. I can move the trash bucket over. And let me go dry my hands. Look at me already. Make sure my hands are dry. Oh, this always makes me nervous. Hi, Shirley. Welcome. Here we go, guys. Hello. So there's the front. And some of these places that look like there's no um, paint on them, it was just the white that wasn't very thick. Hi, Cindy, welcome. So let me get this into the rinse bucket. I'll put this up on the uh... thanks Colleen thank you Cindy I do have one more of these hats these hats are a little bit more expensive because they cost me quite a bit more to do these are um, $35 if anyone wants one so let me bring it out of the rinse bucket. Actually, I think I'm gonna put it on this towel to try to contain some of the dripping. All right, so there it is. Oh, 
I'm so excited with the way it turns out. And I already have something I'm going to do in these more open spots. I know what I'm going to do. And here's another one. There's a little bit there. And there's a, just a couple little spots here. Well, I did it so I can wear it at uh, my shows, Colleen. So I went with my company colors. I have a fishing hat that I already did in pinks that I will wear. Uh, no, Louise, I have to, I could if I let it dry, but then it, when I tried to dip where it's not um, covered, it would then get on, it would over marble the other piece. But I have something I'm gonna do to that. There is a treatment I'm gonna do to that that's gonna make it look just amazing. So I'll probably do a little bit of what I'm going to do here and maybe up through here. Definitely right here. Here and here. Well, this is going to be covered by the band, so this won't matter right here. But definitely this spot. But now I just need to let that one dry. So I'm going to go set it in the bathroom. I'll be right back. Yesterday, I, when I pulled it out from prepping, I set it out on the back end of my truck and it dried super fast. Oh, I just love it. Those are so fun to do. It's just such a big hat for this tank, but um, I mean, in order to get a bigger tank, I'd have to do the bins that, you know, are the big, big bins. And I can't even imagine that'd take a lot of water. So I think I like the way this does that. And I'll show you when I get it complete what I do for that area. Actually, there's any number of things I could do to that area. Let your imagination run wild. Let's see. I dribbled on the table. Okay, so now we're going to do um, ribbon to make two hair bows. As soon as I get this cleaned up. So any suggestions on colors for, they're just um, little girl hair bows. I'm actually making these just a smidgen bigger than I normally do, just a touch. that color out or mixed in at least so any suggestions I th maybe we'll do a purple one and then a pink one maybe or is that too girly Bright neon pink. Oh, Shelly, I think you have something there. I had, I only had a little bit of ribbon, uh, of the wider ribbon, the inch, I think it's inch and a half or so. So I couldn't do very many of them, unfortunately. Usually I like to do a bunch when I'm going to do them, but... We didn't go, I usually get my ribbon, it's grow grain ribbon, you know, with the ones with the ridges in it, and I usually get that at Walmart, and we didn't go to Walmart this weekend, and so I forgot. Hmm. 
Okay, so let's do that. Let's do, let me, I need to get one more thing. So I used two pieces this size and one piece this size to make each bow. So let me pull the colors. Oh, my pinks are all, except for the bright pink. I guess we're just using neon pink and white. Hi, Barbara, welcome. I wanted to use a little bit of light pink, but I need to mix more. You know, I tell you, I am the worst. I get home from a show and I unload the truck and the trailer, and then I forget about mixing paints until it's time to go. The next time I'm going, ah, dang it. I need to move the trash can. I can hear that. I didn't know what that noise was. I can hear the hat dripping. I kind of hung it on a hanger, you know, a skirt hanger, clipped it up there. All right, there's the pink. I'm going to have to buy more of this neon pink. <laughs> it's so pretty. Becky Jones, where are you? That's so pretty. Love it, love it, love it. All right. This is going to be an off. I might add some more pink. There's an awful lot of white in there. Oh, I do too, Shelly. I just love it. <laughs> I just think that's so fun. It starts to spread out and the other colors push against it and it comes right back. Okay, let's lay the uh, ribbon in there. This is always the hardest part for me. So the bows take um, two pieces of this ribbon and then one little piece of this. All right, we get the rinse bucket over here. Marina, if you're on here, I should be, um, doing earrings. I think I need to order more. I'm trying to find some that aren't quite so big. And then the little tiny piece. The little tiny pieces are the ones that I lose in the bucket, and sometimes um, I will empty the bucket and find little pieces of ribbon at the bottom. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, 
it's just gorgeous. Okay, let me dry my hands and then I'll bring it up for you to look at. I have some little pieces of uh, newsprint cut up from when I was trying to um, do the fe paint pour feather and they are determined to get in my water bucket tonight. I have not epoxied that uh, painting I did that night because it says they need to dry it for three weeks like I did not do the other one. So there's that ribbon. Ignore the ugly stained towel that has paint all over it. Oh, it's so bright and fun. Okay, so I keep covering my trash can. Now I need to pick the next colors. I have one more bow to do. Let me uh, clean this up. to think what little girls like my my little ones were not hi Mary were not into bows when they when they were little three girls not a bow in this in place hi Audrey welcome so we have one more batch of ribbon to do and I'm soliciting color suggestions. I'm, I'm leaning towards a purple. Seems like little girls always like purple, but I also want it to be practical. I don't know what the in colors are for little girls anymore. My in color is always pink. Oh, should I do a blue set or a blue bow or a purple bow? Hi, Natalie. I don't know. Purple or teal? I could do purple and teal. Purple and pink. Teal and pink. So I have these two purples, or I can do something like this. That would be super bright. Or um, uh, this, I don't have any of my pale, my pastel pinks. I don't have any of them um, that are mixed. Purple and teal, teal and pink, purple and teal. Okay, there's two purple and teals. Any others? Okay, let's do purple and teal. Now, I don't know if I should use the dark one, dark and dark with the white, or if I should use the dark and the light like this. I don't think dark and dark. I don't think I'd like that. It might be really pretty on the surface, but I always tend to go with a light and a dark. Okay. Purple and teal it is. Let me get a drink. Oh, 
this is so relaxing. I did remember when I was out this weekend, I bought some big bottles so I could mix some pouring paint in bigger bottles, especially like black and white and a blue, stuff like that, so I could uh, have more made than just uh, a little bit, you know, in the cups. So now we'll put down the teal. I mean, this is purple, not teal. And I'm going to drop in just a couple more drops of the purple. Look how much more powerful that purple is than the teal. Usually teal is a very strong color, but there it's going to push back. Okay, so let's do this one. Let's do this. I'm going to use my comb this time. So this is my favorite uh, design to create. go. I have to concentrate when I do that. I don't want to drag the white piece in the design because it would ruin the design. So I have to concentrate super hard to when I do that. And so now you know me, it cannot stay like this. I will let that center piece stay like that. Oops, I need to go get a little piece. Okay, and I will put this. There we go. Did you see that just lay itself right down in the water? All right, let me uh, get the rinse bucket moved over. Come here. And then the little one. So let me get them rinsed and then I will show you. Oh, they look so much better once they've been rinsed. 
because it always brings some of the water out with it and it looks really slimy. And the excess paint is running off, so. All right, let me dry my hands. All right, there's the ribbons. There's the purple ones, purple and teal. And there's the pink and white. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Shelly. Thanks, Tammy. Thank you, Janice. Hi, Jennifer. Thanks for being here. Thank you for the hearts, everyone. I appreciate that. And so Thursday night when we uh, have craft night, I'll build the bows so you can see how those are done. We might do something else too, but because um, those don't take a terrible long time, but we'll build the bows on, on Thursday night. The ribbon will be dry by then. All right, so hang on, we're going for a ride. I hope so, Shelly. I always have a hard time picking colors. Because I know what I like, and you know, somebody's probably gonna want a blue, and I never have the right colors, but I try. So that's all I have for you tonight, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, Janice, I hope you love your hat, and I will uh, message you as soon as it's done or, and ready to go and get it shipped. This should be no later than Monday. I'll probably ship it on Monday morning on my way to the office. So thank you, Colleen. And um, my hat, I'll show you it, the whole progress as it's getting completed. I think when I put that black hat band on, it's just going to make it pop. So anyway, thank you, everyone. If I don't see you on Thursday, have an amazing week. Oh, you're welcome, Janice. You're very welcome. And um, if I see you Thursday, that's wonderful. Don't forget, if you see someone without a smile, please give them one of yours. It doesn't cost you anything. It's going to make your heart happy. So I'll talk to you later, everyone. Bye.